Hey guys, um, I'm doing this uh, new video uh, regarding the Virgin Media Super Hub 2. Um, I've been using that since uh, they brought it out um, back in, I think it was July or August time. And um, I thought it was going to be brilliant and it started off good, but then it went a bit downhill. Now, I don't know if that's because they've released a new firmware on it recently or not, but um, I live in, I wouldn't say a massive house, but it's fairly big. And uh, from my room here to the living room, uh, the family are lucky to get two signal bars or nothing on uh, like a laptop or a tablet. Uh, mobile phones won't work at all um, only like tablets and laptops but like two signal bars it's just extremely slow um, I contacted uh, Virgin Media about this um, and they said there's nothing they can do um, now with Sky Broadband they, they're currently uh, giving away a free Wi-Fi booster where Virgin are absolutely offering nothing which I think is a bit shit regarding I've been with them like 14 odd years um, plus I've got their top broadband 100 meg so I'm paying out quite a bit of money for that um, so I contacted uh, Netgear uh, who I've used uh, routers and everything else um, I've also used uh, Linksys uh, products, um, but um, I find out of the two, Netgear are the better uh, providers for broadband routers and modems, etc. Anyway, they're the company what make the Superhub 2 anyway. So I tell them about the uh, problem I've got with the uh, Wi-Fi signals um, only um, reaching the living room. And first of all, they s tell me about changing the Wi-Fi channel, which I already knew about anyway. Um, and uh, basically, I've tried multiple channels because the the top channels are six, eleven, and I think. 12 no sorry uh, 6 9 and 12 um, so none of them channels helped so um, I thought the next step is to obviously buy my own router and um, obviously have two devices next to one another which I didn't really want or the next step was to buy a um, Wi-Fi extender um, and they told me which one to get and believe, since I've put it on I put it in the kitchen which is not far away from me and um, basically they now get the full signal bars in the living room uh, what the device is is this one here um, it's a Netgear branded you can pick it up online on like say Amazon or PC world or anything like that um, it comes with instructions on how to set it up uh, you've also got an ethernet port on the side there um, and the actual model of this Netgear um, it's a universal Wi-Fi range extender um, and the model is WN3000RP um, I will put that in the description anyway um, so the reason I've done this video is in case any of you have faced the same uh, problem as me um, and if you have then I highly recommend you getting one of these because since we've bought this it was like £44 something like that um, might have been more um, but since we've bought it it's uh, really come into its own and the family now can watch YouTube videos and uh, stream 
content online and everything where before they couldn't so and all you do is um, if you want to you can connect it up um, by wireless all you do is plug it in near your uh, broadband router uh, turn it on and you will get a green light on the front um, then you've got to access uh, basically when you connect to it um, you load up your laptop uh, tell your laptop to connect to the EXT it will just cut it will just say Netgear EXT once you've uh, clicked on that and connect you to it and open your web browser it will direct you to the website where you set this device up um, once you get there it will ask you to choose a current uh, network to connect it to um, you select that and you enter your password what you've got set on your hub um, once you've done that it will ask you what you want the name of this device to be um, for like the family to connect to so you name it anything you want follow the steps once you've finished do not close the web browser site down um, because um, when you get to the bit where it has a little tick box and it says all these wireless devices are connected to this click the little box but whatever you do don't click finish what you need to do is um, connect to the new network name and enter the password for this device um, once you've done that um, try and think sorry guys uh, once you've done that click the finish button on the website and then that will basically reload the page and it will ask you to log in to the website which is always uh, mywifiext.net um, I'll also put that in the description of the video um, and basically where it asks you for your username and password you type it's all your username is always admin for this device um, and when you and the default password is just password when you get into this section uh, you only need to click on um, uh, password and then change the password so then what you do then when you log into this in future you use the username as admin and the password you set the only thing, and this can be annoying, if the console when you go into the website tells you there's a new firmware available, do upgrade it because it fixes uh, problems and uh, basically um, makes the signal better of the device. Um, the only thing is you've then got to factory reset it and set it up again from the beginning. Uh, I don't know why that is but that's what Netgear has informed me to do if I ever upgrade the firmware on this device um, there's a little pinhole just next to the Ethernet port on this side here hopefully you can see that um, and all you do is you hold a little pin in to that there's a little tiny button what you're pressing inside there um, and what will happen is the light there which it looks like a little computer symbol uh, that will basically start flashing uh, orange once that starts flashing orange count to 10 release it and then just wait for the icon to go green again turn it off turn it back on again and just set it up exactly the same way you did the first time okay hopefully this video has been some good information for you and helped you out if you like the video please put a comment below and also like the video uh, by the little like button um, anything else you want to know just put a comment below and I will get back to you thank you